you want to learn how to manual so when you're doing a manual you want to have your seat quite low and if you have an annoying dropper like me you have to tape tape it down but that's just how it is it's cold so the oil in the wires freeze so yeah it's annoying but that's how it is um, so yeah the first step is going to be um, how to get your front wheel up properly that's what most people struggle with um, so it's, I, it, it is quite hard that's because most people when they try they just go like this and then just lean back and they don't get up in the slightest or you get like that but it's not enough for like at least to stay in that position so what you want to do is you want to go down and then stretch out all the way and get those hips as far back as possible behind the seat and everything so you're gonna go so that's how you do it as you saw i i had my i had my fingers on the brake especially the back brake that's very important i'll show you why later and you go down and then back stretch your arms straight and you're just going to sit here in the manual you're going to look forward when you do it and then yeah that's basically it for the first step practice that you can do it stationary if you're just standing like this you're going to go down and you're going to stretch back that's how you get the front wheel up because if you just if you just do like this go back you don't get up but if you go down front up the back i mean and then your front wheel goes up high enough to stay in the manual yeah that's it for the first uh first tip and then the second tip is it's not really it's it's quite important actually it's to make sure where to have control of how high your front wheel is um it's have your finger on the back brake it's best if you have one finger two is maybe okay yeah so when you're in here this is probably the the correct height about and then um, if you go too far back if you just touch your brake you know then you'll go down at once and that will save you from landing on your back so I'll I'll show you how that works uh, I will run in here or roll in here and then I will go too far back and then I'll touch my front brake pretty hard and I'll go down immediately as you'll see see how I went down immediately right there and that's what you want to do in the beginning if you're really unsafe you don't feel safe being in that position if you feel you're going too far backwards slam that uh back brake and you'll go down immediately yeah um and then later when you get um uh, when you get better and more comfortable then we'll touch your back brake less and less until you're at the point where you only touch your ba back brake to go from like that you're about to fall back to the perfect uh, position again so that's how you yeah stay in the right yeah how, how to keep the front wheel in the correct height yeah that's about it and then a bonus tip is to just try to move your hips around a little bit don't don't be so stiff with it it will help your balance as well if you're if you're going to one side then you might want to turn your wheel you just do when you're on the bike, try to be loose and then move your body as your body wants to move, sort of. Yeah, and that's basically it for this tutorial. So now, once you've learned how to do the manual, there's many things you can progress to. One of the things is doing a manual in a pump track, where uh, when you're going very fast and you don't really have time to push down both wheels, you can push down only the back wheel. You'll still gain speed without losing any or messing up, hopefully. And I mean, you, you learn how to do the manual. It's it's uh, such a cool thing to do. <laughs> I, I just love it. Uh, once you learn it, you're gonna be so thankful that you learned it. It's it's just so cool. Yeah, uh, learning how to do a manual in the pump track. That's gonna be the next video. Um, next Monday, I will post that. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment. Yeah. Uh, no, you, you don't have to leave a comment, but if you have a suggestion for a, a tutorial you want me to make, then uh, yeah, just leave a comment telling me what you want to learn, and then I'll make a video about it. Yeah. Bye-bye once again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.